Hello, my name is Sofia Gomez Alonso, and I will be talking about my time as an intern at Lips Louisiana. I use she, her, her pronouns, and I am majoring in political science and communications. And during this internship term, I was a communications intern for LIF. I chose to do an internship in the realm of reproductive justice because I, am, I wanted to engage with an opportunity that would let me integrate my academic interests with my broader interests and passion in life, which are related to social justice and advocacy, as well as abortion access around the world. And I also chose to work in this field because I come from a country where the reproductive rights landscape is very restricted. So I was very interested in seeing how the nonprofit sector is advocating for reproductive justice and abortion access in the United States so that I could later integrate that knowledge in my professional career and implement it to the reproductive justice landscape of my country. So my major internship project was creating weekly content for Lyft's social media. I produced a variety of graphics during my time there, which were all related to topics that encompass abortion access and reproductive justice. So we, I was working closely with the Lyft social media team in order to construct a voice that would reach a broader audience. So I was, I was able to learn how different audiences reacted to different types of posts and how to use social media as an advocacy tool um, for reproductive justice. So my work at Lyft relates to their mission, mostly in their component that is related to education and availability of resources. I was using a social media platform in order to advocate and educate the Louisiana and the United States public about uh, the state of reproductive rights in the state of Louisiana, as well as advocating for Louisiana women and their families. So these are some of the posts that I made. I learned more about the importance of sex education, as well as the normalization of abortion and the inter intersectionality that is present in the reproductive justice movement and the importance of it. I also learned a lot about voting engagement voter engagement and the voter voting landscape looks very different to the one in my country. So that was also a very interesting opportunity that I had. And this is one of my favorite graphics that I made and it, I was focusing on how advocating for climate justice is advocating for reproductive justice. And it was very interesting to me to see that the, obviously the reproductive justice field encompasses way more than abortion access and it's related to a variety of topics that are very important. And so one of the things that I learned the most working closely with the communications team at Lyft is how the audience reacts differently to different kinds of posts. So I progressed in the way that I did post at the beginning. I did posts that integrated more graphics as opposed to images. And I, when I was working closely with the team, I was able to change this and it ended up, it showed up in the way that our users engage with our content. So that was also very, a very enriching experience to be a part of. And I want to mention the importance of the election during my time at Lyft, not only because it is an event of national importance, but because I was able to learn more about voter engagement and I also was very inspired by the team at Lyft and their expertise. And just in general, learning how much or how much, uh, how important this event was for the state of reproductive rights in the country. So that was one of my favorite aspects of working for Lyft um, during this term. And finally, I want to thank Michelle and the team at Lyft Louisiana, David Wrinkle Smith and Gabby Rodriguez. They were my mentors, mentors and I was able to learn a lot from them and all their knowledge about this field. I also wanted to thank Dr. Claire Daniel for connecting me to this amazing opportunity that I'm very proud to be a part of. And also the Donna and Richard, Richard Stiffs Fund for Reproductive Rights and Reproductive Health for making this opportunity possible. Thank you very much for your time.